Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gavar and welcome. Let's play Gloomhaven Early Access. Today it appears there was some patching uh, for the Early Access, uh, mostly focusing on uh, AI and pathfinding and uh, focusing uh there was also a fix to the issue with poison so uh, if i remember correctly uh, we've encountered that bug in the last playthrough so we are on the crossroads we could choose Den of Razors with Bandits or Forgotten Tunnels with Undead. I will go to the Den since we haven't got much experience with Bandits and Undead is basically all that we were fighting up to date. Uh, so let's go. And let's go to the adventure. So, we are in the very, very white room. We've got three bandit guards. They are level one. And on average, they are quite swift with free movement and two attack so those are their base stats not average stats but i guess they, they could tell me something on, on what what to expect and we've got two bandit bandit ar no one uh, bandit archer and one elite ban bandit archer and some gold around, a lot of uh, obstacles. So, for the Craig Heart, I really, really want to use my jump move crater. Uh, it will burn my card, but I think it's it would be quite useful to get over here and to block those two guys. I'm not sure if I want to use my opposing strike it would attack both of them but the initiative isn't the greatest. Uh, I might instead use crushing grasp and immobilize uh, this archer over here. So let's do that and I'll try to remember to use my items and for Scandriel I... oh, or let's change I will use the opposing strike And for the scoundrel, I'll try to get over here and attack this guy, I guess. Or maybe... Should I get invisible? Maybe that's the better idea. I, oh, so the invisibility is in the item, so maybe I'll try to focus on those guys. Go over here, attack this guy uh, here. That way, that one bandit should be blocked. And what should I do? There should be 
move attack card or move poison. Yeah, and we will lead with that. So the bandit guards uh, will have shield and retaliate. So uh, they won't be attacking my scoundrel this uh, turn. Uh, so no need to use my invisibility cloak. Uh, for the bandit archers, they move uh, after Craigheart, and uh, they will do some weak ranged attacks, and they will have the a disadvantage on them. So it looks like it will. I have chosen rock cards again, so um, I don't think I have any better option than to move over here. Luckily for us, um, the bandits will retaliate. Uh, I don't know why this one guy isn't wounded, so maybe a new bug over here. Uh, we don't need to get invisible. Um, I could have go over there with my scandal because of the winged shoes. So. They are shielding, and let's see if he will get wounded. No, he won't, so the uh, wound isn't working correctly. So I will move over here and hurt. Perfectly, and they won't be moving, so I guess I will focus my, my attack uh, maybe on this archer because there is a chance for us to one shot kill him. We will use the Googles. No. Nice. That will take one damage. And two damage to the scandal. Not ideal, but so it appears there is no retaliation. Carry it to the next round. So I've used my offhand attack completely unnecessary. So I will try to. Maybe I'll try to move away from them and I don't need I think the so 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 I will use my how far away can I get from this guy over here? One, two, three three movement. One, two, three, four movement is enough for him to get anyway, anywhere. And we will need one, two, three, four, five movement to get there. But actually, I will use the six movement cards to move around. And before we will do that, 
thinking maybe about it. Put a venom. Oh no, 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 no. I don't need that powerful attack right now. So this is range 3, 1, 2, 3. Not quite enough. I think uh, let's do this like that. Now I'll try to kill maybe with this crushing grasp this archer and I might use this avalanche. No, I, I will not. Um, maybe this card. So, the archer will move first. There's nothing we can do about this. And the guards will move to hexes. So actually this guy will get over here. Luckily the archer has a disadvantage. And we should be able to kill him. We haven't killed him, but luckily I will move back and forth and confirm the attack over here. Move over here. So the bandits will run after us. And now the Craigheart is in quite safe position, but I will, will would like to slowly move towards the doors. I have this heaving swing. I could push one of the bandits into the obstacle. Uh, so I will use this unstable upheaval as my movement. Uh, with my boots it should be enough. And I think I will use this heaving swing to push one guy away and probably killing him. So for our scandal, I would like to move after Craigheart, but if I do so, the bandits will move before me for sure. So I guess no flanking. Uh, bonus for me this round. So I could either throw some knives from safety or move and attack the other guy. I 
which I will do. And I will use my hammer to stun my target. Wow, quite low initiative. And we were lucky to outperform them. So, yes, I won't use this movement. I will get right over there. And now I will use my hammer to stun this guy. So he is both poisoned and stunned, so he should not be a problem. And now... The idea was to move here or there and push one guy, but I might as well use this. Uh, and I don't think it's it's worth it, so I will use this one as movement and get as close to the doors as possible. And now I will attack this guy. I have my mouse on the coach, so so it's making funny movements. Luckily this is the turn-based strategy, so no precision needed. And I will push the guy into this trap. Now the scoundrel should be able to kill this guy and move somewhere near the door. Or we could use this. No. I don't think I want to use. my back step just yet so I think I will use back step as a movement card and single out as an attack card that way this guy should be dead so for for the Craig heart we will need some quick movement So massive boulder is quite nice, quick, quickish movement, and I could either use the dirt tor tornado uh, or earth and cloud. I, I will use cloud, so I might have someone in range. Okay, so move and attack. And let's kill the guy. And let's move through the doors. We could get invisible, which is something to remember. Especially that there are one, two, three, four, five archers in there. So. Yes, I'll move here and get invisible. Skip the rest of the movement and... They will move one and attack with range of four, so this guy will have one, two, three, four, 
these doors in range. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, this guy could target through this shack. I guess he won't. So the question is, do I want to move all the way over here with Craig Hart and get one extra attack? Uh, or should I stay here? And I'll play it safe. I should have this one in range. Hope I'm not mistaken. I even get this guy in range, which is so that does mean uh, they could target me through the shack. So free damage. And this is. They are normal damage. I guess I'll take them. Nice. So a little AI bug, I guess. Them moving through the traps. I really don't like that amount of hurt happening to the Craig Heart. I guess this is the last room, and, but I'm not sure about that, uh, so I might burn one of my cards, and this would be backup ammunition. So, the question. There is no question for the Scandera, there is short rest for sure. We'll lose this open wand. I'm not super pumped about it, but since the bleeding seems not working anyway, I will do so. And. This position over here is quite nice because I'm giving disadvantage to those two guys. Uh, so I might use the other ability of single out, so I will one shot. I should one shot most of the enemies. Mm, it works. Uh, it works for the ranged attacks as well, so this is good to know. Mm, but this way, let's let's use it like this. And for the Craig Heart, the question for the Craig Heart is should I rest now or should I use the, those very low initiative cards? And I think I I really don't know because the only super low initiative card is the stable upheaval. On the other hand, those attacks are, are so super exciting. 
I guess I could use the tornado to target this area. It's so 31 initiative, they will move and attack, maybe they will clamp together, so I will use our single out ability and I will try to kill this guy over here. And this is 3 damage, which is slightly less average, or so maybe I will burn something, let's see. There's nothing re I really want to burn. I guess Venom Shift or Special Mixture. I will burn this Special Mixture and I will regret it in a minute. So, is there any better place for me to target this dirt tornado? Not really. So, I will move right here. Maybe I will use this one. So for the scandrial, I will move in this general direction. Maybe that way, and I will try to kill as many guys as possible. I have those throwing knives, which might be able to kill two guys at once. I also have this move and attack card, but do I have any offhand events? But it won't help me because they are too far away even if I fly. I couldn't stay here. The other thing to consider is I I will need, this is range free, so if I will, I think I will use this Venom Shift to move over here, and we'll try to kill this guy for sure. And with a little luck, we might be able to kill this guy, so maybe use the, the Googles. Now for the Craig Heart, the priority target would be this guy over here. Uh, unless we have some nice area attacks. I think the priority for Craig Heart would be to heal uh, our Scandrial. I think I'm okay with that. 
So what healing abilities do we have? We've got this earthen plant. And we will have this sentient growth. So this is range free. This is range free as well. So it might be good. So this was obviously a misclick. see what's happened now. So they will move and range attack and immobilize. So for the scandrial the idea was to get over here, skip the rest of the movement, attack but use the goggles and target Target this guy for sure, and this guy maybe. Can't I use this potion as well? Once again, this and this. And this and this. Almost. And we've got some gold. And also Googles. So no damage here, but immobilize. No damage here. And I will take this to the match, I hope. Okay. So actually, I'm immobilized anyway, so I cannot move. So I will heal the scandal for sure. Question is should I heal even more or just kill the enemy? And I think the answer is, is kill the enemy. That was the, the wrong answer. So the Craig Heart isn't immobilized. Oh, because it's until uh, his next round. The problem is the scandrio doesn't have any ranged attacks. And there is nothing useful for her to do. So I will take the long rest in, in the middle of the fight, uh, which I'm not happy about. I might use this unstable upheaval to shield her. Uh, it should happen before the enemy attacks and now can I kill anyone? I will use this massive boulder and try to kill this bandit over here. So no powerful attacks.
Okay, free to go. Our scoundrel is low on hit points, but two shield should do the trick. And it did, even with double damage card. So perfect. Um, I will take free damage with Craig Hart. And which card should I burn? Either flanking strike or venom shift, so I guess venom shift. And a little bit of healing, and we should uh, easily clear this dungeon out. So I was wondering why did I do so, such low damage to the enemies. But it was because they were adjacent to their friends. So now my throwing knives should do 4 damage each. And with Googles it might kill both this guy and this or this guy. So with Craig Hart we should be ready to uh, kill the other guy. So the Crushing Grasp has quite nice initiative, but well, the Avalanche do 5 damage with Earth Element, so uh, I will pick both of them and see, or maybe not, because I will be with the worst cards. Okay. Oh, I haven't chosen the secondary card so maybe some cash grabbing I think quick hands So they will move and attack, but hopefully they won't have a chance to do so. I use my magical goggles and I will target this guy. And let's be optimistic and try to kill this guy. So double damage here, plus two damage here, and now we'll move, and I think I'll move over here to grab some gold. And I will burn one card, which is Dirt Tornado. Now I need to move, skip the rest of the movement, and I will hopefully kill this guy over here. So yeah, unfortunately there is a lot of gold lying around, which I believe won't be gathered. 
yes we've acquired only eight codes for this run but it was quite easy so i think the thing to do is to after we get to this uh, shadow field manner which we will do in the next episode we will head towards this more uh, light hideout i feel quite ready to deal with the bandit commander if there is any adventure on the way we should be able to level up to uh, level 3 uh, so the average level of my Oh, dividing by two. Okay, so the average level of the party is one because I've got only two characters. So that makes sense. I'm really curious what new cards uh, will be available on the next level. Uh, I'm kind of prone to change a little uh, build of both characters. Uh, but... Uh, it might turn out real bad real quick since I am getting used to this strategy I, I am using for the most of this run. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Have a great day and bye.